Go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, for those that tuned in and are asking about the Bible that I studied from or learned from, um, this is the King James Version. This is the big print that I like to um, read. Um, it's better for me, and I have all my, you know, staples right here, uh, the stuff that I'm, you know, studying on or whatever. Um, the Bibles that you do want to stay away from are the NIV, the New International Version, and anything other than a King James, I think, it would, might be the closest to what you want to get. Um, I also recommend, if you want to get the original context with the, with the Apocrypha that was taken out of the Bible, um, you want to get the 1611 version, or century, I mean, um, King James Version, 1611, okay? Um, and that includes the Apocrypha in it. If you don't get it, um, you could get a, another Bible. It doesn't include the Apocrypha, but I always want, I really emphasize that you do get the Apocrypha with it or included into it. Um, you can get them at a Bible um, bookstore, um, so order it online. You could find it um, along with the Book of Enoch, King James Version, and it has the whole breakdown. Um, remember, if you do study it, look up your words um, in Aramaic and Hebrew. You could download an app called the Blue Letter Bible that gives you the definitions in Greek and English and in Aramaic if you do want to know the truth of what you're reading about. Um, so yeah, thank you for those that tuned in. Make sure you um, like and subscribe. And um, if you want to start studying, this is what you should pick up, 16th 11th version. Thank you for everybody that tuned in.